On this week's episode, we have the Mariah Fashion Report because she has been out in the streets serving us looks. And we have the return of the Sports Report. All that and more coming right up. Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. Out here covering, you know, the Mariah Carey news, as always, coast to coast. Yes, of course. Now, Mariah's not giving us much, but she sure has been giving us looks. She's out here running the streets of New York. We got a new commercial. Wait, hang on, hang on. Should we tease all the topics? Probably not. Should we? We don't really have any topics. We got our listicles. We got okay, the commercial. You say the word listicles. <coughs> <laughs> all right, cut all that. Yeah. Um. Okay, ready? Music, music, music. Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And we have a fun little episode for you all today. Mariah's on TV again. She's out in the streets. Yes. Uh Uh Uh-huh. And we're still... You know what she's doing with the kid. Okay, let's... let's, (laughs) I don't know why we can't get this going. We'll get it going. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Welcome back. Wait. Okay. Also, remember, you have to, like, look at the camera. Oh. Because <laughs> you were, like, looking up at the sky. <laughs> I'm trying to think how to do this. <laughs> okay, ready? Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And here we are reporting the Mariah Carey News of the Week. And we're still catching up on things. There's been a lot of articles that came out recently, Mm -hmm. uh, um, Mm -hmm. some about Butterfly 25 and some other rankings that we need to be discussing. So we're talking about those things too. Yes, but I want to start with what the the kids have been saying, that she's um, out here serving the looks. Yes, she is. She is mothering, mother. That's what I see everyone on Twitter saying. Uh Mother, mother. Yes, yes, yes. (laughs) Well, here's the thing. I think I'm vibing with her not being in Atlanta anymore. I'm vibing with New York Mariah. I've always vibed with New York Mariah. She's uh-huh. my favorite. Right? Me too now. I think <laughs> She's I've always now been like my it. favorite. Yes. Um, you know, just like, remember that one time when she got on the subway in that blue dress? Yes. That the was Chantus iconic. Era. Yes, that was iconic moments. But like whenever she's just doing anything in New York, it's always like, I don't know. It just feels like home because it is it is i guess yeah um okay so let's um let's start there so she was out we don't really know what she was doing but she was giving us some beautiful looks i mean we've been discussing the past few weeks about how gorgeous she looked at um the global citizens festival Mm -hmm. and she has been keeping it up okay she has not let us down Mm -hmm. the hair the makeup the ensembles, yes. yes, all of it's, it. It's sort of giving me um, early Lucy Tom, like hashtag beautiful era vibes. Ooh, yes, yes. It is giving me a little bit of, of that, but it's also giving me a little bit of like maybe like caution, just a little, uh-huh. because she was yes. looking good at caution. Well, remember, so the shirt that she wore that you alerted me to was actually a mini dress. I thought it was a t shirt. Um, <laughs> We have the seen her. On. Yes. Yes. <laughs> We've seen her wear that to one. I think Jay Z had a brunch or something, a Rock Nation oh, yes. brunch. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember? That, yes. Uh huh. And she had the Oprah earrings on. That brunch. Yes. And w- I think that was right before Caution. I think that was like a, mm-hmm. a 2018 moment. Yes. 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 So we. Okay. So, that's the so are we, we sense? That. Are we sensing a new album? Then? It's her new album look. <laughs> Why? Because she about to come out. <laughs> she recycled it, so it must be. I I don't know. I mean, she's gearing up for something because, like, you know, when Mariah is doing like giving us the high glam looks, mm-hmm. something's going on. That's now, like a paparazzi look. 
Yeah, like we don't know where she was going in that in that Louis Vuitton um, dress, which you thought was a t-shirt, but that's okay. But she was doing something because she wasn't going to the grocery store, girl. Right. Okay, because she was serving the looks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I loved it. I actually think, like, if you put the two moments side by side, I think the look she gave us this time around was better because she had the glasses, the hair was down, she had, like, the long trench. Mm. I loved this look better. The other one was was fabulous and loved it, but, you know, you know I love a high pony. The other one was more casual. Yeah. Very brunch. Very brunch. Very brunch. It was a brunch. <laughs> yes. And this was like the nighttime version of it. Right. Exactly. So I loved it. I, I loved it. I thought she looked amazing. Yes. I agree. Good to see her out and about. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then... The but also, other... like, if you're in Atlanta, you can't really do that moment of, like, leaving your uh, New York apartment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, that's a good... That, the whole look like... is good. You got to drive down the driveway. You got to yes. open up the gates, exactly. but you're already in the car. So they're the paparazzi. Are, they're they're getting it's not nothing. the same. It's not the it's same. Not the same. Not, nothing is the same. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's just not happening. Yeah. But then the other look she gave us, she went out uh, for dinner uh, to a steakhouse, which I don't. I'm unfamiliar with that steakhouse. I don't know if it's been there forever. If it's new, who knows? It seems like um, it's, a, it's a thing. But yeah, people go there. Apparently, it's like the best steakhouse over there in New York. And she was looking for that prime meat. Mm -hmm, All mm -hmm. right. Okay, so that look, she gave us another phenomenal look. I don't know who designed the dress. It could be a Balmain. It could be a this. It could be a that. But again, like fierce, beautiful, gorgeous. Yes. But this is giving us classic Mariah looks when there's that sexiness involved mm, mm-hmm. which yes i think kind of vanished a little bit yeah there's so yeah you're that right back. there is like a sexiness to it mm-hmm. like an elevated you know um sophisticated sexiness right yes <laughs> that's what i'm here for uh-huh. i'm here for it yes, yes it was it was like sheer we've seen her in something very similar to this um once or twice before um where like you can sort of like see through things like horizontal mm-hmm. like see-through moments mm-hmm. um but this was like a beautiful floor oh, i loved it i loved everything about it it was good it was good it was, it was like a real subtle scandal in the dress very subtle very subtle but she worked it perfectly and beautifully Looked great yes and brian but was there uh, we we'll also keep in mind that uh you know when she's in real life i'm sure the dress isn't so see-through there's a big flash getting flashed at her so it's more see-through Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's nighttime wherever she is yeah that's true that's true and Mm -hmm. also if you look at the restaurant i forget the name of it sorry but um if you look at their instagram they have a photo of mariah inside and you can see that she has like her hair is like clipped up Mm -hmm. but she knew those photographers were outside so when she stepped out honey she was like well right i'm gonna give y'all what you came for Mm-hmm. So the hair was down, the glasses, all of it. Like mm-hmm. she was, she was on the runway. Yes, yeah, she knows what to do. Yes, yeah, so, uh, always, always. <laughs> she's giving us looks, 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 looks. And honestly, that's the thing. Like, I don't know what she's doing, going to dinner, going to a recording studio, whatever, going to visit a friend, honey. When she's serving the looks, I'm here for all of it, mm-hmm. all of it. Just a good mm-hmm. picture of Mariah leaving the house. <laughs> <laughs> Sets me good for the whole day, at least. <laughs> Simple, easy to please. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, you you know, you we know. Need the All the know. We need the content. We need the content for Instagram. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, and but I but now I feel like she has that new pair of favorite sunglasses. It's the Louis Vuitton sunglasses that she wears like all the time now, mm-hmm. which look good on her. You know how like back in like the late nineties or even like early two thousands, um, she always had like her one pair of sunglasses that she was just wearing everywhere. The black Gucci sunglasses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now she has these, and I was like, all right, girl. I see she has found her favorite pair, and I like them. She's had the occasional favorite sunglasses of the moment. Yeah, yeah. I will say, remember a few weeks ago when she came out of the house, and then she had, like, those heart-shaped sunglasses? Yes. Not my favorite. (laughs) (laughs) I'm with you. I prefer these ones. Yeah, not my favorite. But, hey, you got to give everything a try. You got to give everything a try. Um, Do you mean the butterfly-shaped ones? 
Oh, were they butterfly shaped? I thought they were like sideways hearts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're butterflies. Oh, okay. I, you know what? I wasn't paying too much attention because I was like, I don't like them. <laughs> I thought they were hearts, like, but hearts like on the side, like to the side. Okay, <laughs> butterfly. Get it. I get it now. I get it. Okay, good. <laughs> um, but speaking of trying new things, we have the sports report because Mariah yes. is over there in the sports world now again, dipping back into it. So this, yes, is- tell us everything because I really don't know much. Well, FIFA is a huge global organization. It's a sports thing. Honestly, I don't don't know much about them either. They do get caught in the scandals, though. That is a thing. Oh. Yes, all kinds of, like, stuff. (laughs) You can Google it. There's just so much money being, you know, thrown around over there. I think in the billions, still hundreds of millions. Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, but this was an interesting stuff. Yeah, we have to look up what the hell FIFA is around here. <laughs> I mean, yes, here uh, <laughs> we might call it the sports report, but we have to have to Google that cu- that stuff first. Okay, <laughs> we have to Google it to give you some indication. In our notes, Dan wrote "soccer cup" <laughs> at the top. <laughs> the so- it is the soccer cup. It is the World Cup, I guess. But whatever, and then you know, I guess it's the FIFA Cup. Girl, it's all the cup. cup. It is. Some sort of cup happens. Anyway, this was interesting, I found. Founded in 1904 to provide unity among national soccer associations, uh, the the International Federation of Football, or whatever, uh, boasts 209 members rivaling that of the United Nations and is arguably, arguably the most prestigious sports organization in the world. Oh, wow. So, well, I guess if you think about it, yeah. So it's a big deal. It's like doing the Olympics. Oh, that is big. Right? Yeah. Global. Huge. So, you know, here, I guess in America, we think like, oh, what's like the biggest sports thing is like the Super Bowl. But the Super Bowl isn't world. You know? For some reason, it goes world. I don't know why. Yeah, but like world, world, people don't not, play. But like, not like soccer, though. Soccer yeah. is wild. Soccer is like the huge. world. But you know what? Since we're on the sports report, mm-hmm. one little thing that we did not mention the other week was when Mariah was rehearsing for um, Global Citizens Festival, mm-hmm. there was a photo. You can see it on our Instagram. She, she had a little baseball hat, but it yes. wasn't a baseball hat. What are those hats called? If it's not a baseball hat, it's a cap. I guess, yeah. Okay, but it was a baseball cap, but it had it was the logo for the Los Angeles um, soccer team. Oh, is that what it was? That's what it was because I went to that game. Yes, with another lamb, so yes, I know yes. that logo, and I was like, "Oh, Mariah has that hat." Do you think it was her hat, or she was just taking someone's hat? It's probably Brian's hat. Oh, it's Brian's hat. You know, he probably knows He's all the sports from LA teams. too. Yeah, is he? Oh, yeah, he is. Yes, so he knows the LA soccer things. That I makes sense. The name of them. Okay, the LA. You um, went to the game too. I know. What are they called? It's Galaxies. The LA... No, not the Galaxy. Federation. It's the, other, the LA something. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, our friend Stephen is going to kill us for not knowing what it is because I had a fun time when he brought me. But I'm like, I cannot remember the name of that. But she had the hat, and it was soccer. Okay. So I'm just saying. Got you. Okay. But it's probably, yes, you're right. It was his hat. Yeah. It's probably his hat, but either way. Fun. I finally so Maria is in the soccer world. She is. I finally saw a clip of the We Belong Together rehearsal. Have you seen him? Um, I don't. I mean, yes, I think, but nothing that like sort of stands out in my mind. Where she was just like uh, doing the intro for We Belong Together? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, wait. Listen to Do this. you have it? Do you have it queued up over there? <laughs> And then she goes over and picks up a hat. Oh, is that when she picks up the hat? She puts the hat on. Oh. 
Now we know the mystery of the hat. Now, there we have it. There we have it. <laughs> now we know soccer. Yes. Yes, exactly. Now we know. Yes. Now we know. <laughs> um, but back to the current sports report. Mm -hmm. So the FIFA World Cup. They this is going a, somewhere. Yes. 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 We got this, kids. We got this. <laughs> yes. They did a commercial for the upcoming um, tournament. Mm -hmm. And Mariah's in it. Mm hmm now, I didn't know anything of what, what was going on in, until she appeared, but I don't know what. I think the whole, the whole point of the ad was to promote the, world, the FIFA World Cup and to promote the fact that they've shifted the season into, Christ, into the Christmas season. Oh, oh, right. And they were saying, oh, we need like a big celebrity Christmassy name thing. or something like this. And Mariah Sean Ham is playing Santa Claus. Oh, so we're doing Christmassy Mar vibes. Who's who's mm -hmm. a Christmas vibe? And Mariah said she's very busy. This is her busy season. Exactly. That's Mariah's okay. line. And that makes sense. That yes. all makes sense. And it's cute. And she looks gorgeous. But you know, the FIFA has those big, big checks. Yeah. You think they're going get, to give Mariah one? Maybe she'll perform. That would be a good check. That's the that check you want to be getting. That's because that check is going to get you on everybody's TV screen around the globe because globe. Yes. everybody is going to be watching. Mm -hmm. Everybody is going to be watching. Yes, all the soccer isn't, fans. Yeah, like, did, isn't that where that one Shakira song comes from? Uh, the one about Africa? Yeah, yeah, that that's a good song. Yes, yes. Yes, that's a, that's a bop. I forgot about that's it. That's a but huge did, song. That was huge. Wasn't that like the anthem for the World Cup one year? It was. Yes. You're right. See, we know uh, things. Uh, you, look at me. Girl, about I know my soccer. Uh-huh. Shoot. <laughs> so, yes. yeah, maybe maybe if Mariah, you know. Um, does a World does Cup something. song? You never know. You never know. She that, said she has a lot of things in the works. That could be pretty Just wild. Just Mariah saying. doing a World Cup song? Big. Big. That's pretty big. big. Huge. Rich. Yes. Money. <laughs> yeah. Money. <laughs> and they, they're they the kind of company that buys original songs from big stars. Oh, yeah. Oh, they'll they'll do it. I mean, if they got her in a commercial, mm -hmm. they're, they're, and, you know, you never know. You never know where that could go. So that's cute and something to look forward to in the Christmas season. And, you know, um, she loves to tie a song to a sport, like Save the Day in the Tennis. Yes, or or uh, let's not forget 100% from the Winter Olympics from yes. whatever year that was because right. I love that song. Yes. I love that song because that video has Apollo Anton Ono in it, and you know I love him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All the figure skating, I love all of that. Yeah. So, yeah, Mariah knows sports. She's been in the world for a minute. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, but speaking very quickly of Christmas, let's also mention we mentioned last time um, last week that she has her Christmas book coming out, mm -hmm. The Little Queen of Christmas. Um, but we got some more illustrations. We got uh, more visuals. Mariah, um, unveiled on us. And they all look super cute. Well, now I'm leaning back to, is it a thin kid's book? No, I think it's going to be like one of those young adult books. It'll probably probably be something like 100 pages or like maybe 50 pages. But there will be like a lot of you know pictures pictures in it do you but do you mean I, like young adult like babysitters club yeah mm -hmm, like that like that okay. kind of stuff goosebumps or, yeah like goosebumps oh okay. i love the oh i love the good old goosebumps. some of these kids nowadays don't know nothing about the goosebumps but the goosebumps was where it's at uh, goosebumps <laughs> yes <laughs> um my only thing is um i love the book can't wait for it it's going to be super cute but I see now all these illustrations, and I'm like, oh, my God, this would actually be really cute as, like, you know, a half-hour little cartoon or, like, a 40-minute little cartoon over there on, yes. like, Apple TV or a Netflix or a Hulu or mm -hmm. any of the streaming things. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was, like, a little cartoon, because that would be cute, because actually all of it looks really well done. Yeah. Well, that could be a future. You know, she loves to remake something. You could you you know because everybody forgot about that other all I want for Christmas is you little cartoon thing she did a while ago that movie, you know with little snowman oh, yes like the 3D animation yeah the little snowman was a cute song though I do that's a bop but like this would be cuter I think I think this is cute. Um, well around Christmas I do see, uh, you know, the Christmas the old Christmas movie as a 
option. It pops up more frequently somehow. <laughs> they know how to get me. <laughs> Every once in a while, they will get you. They will get you. Um, yes. Okay. So keep an eye out for that. Like, what could this could be a big partnership for her? So maybe it's more than just the ad. That's right. It's maybe That's a whole right. deal. So let's uh, keep an eye on it too. We will keep an eye on that. Um, and one thing we haven't been keeping an eye on are some of these um, uh, publications that have been out there where they're like ranking things and doing stuff like that. Now, a lot of times, if we don't cover something here on the on the actual podcast, it's because we've covered it over there on Patreon where you get all the behind the scenes and things. Mm-hmm. So, and then sometimes we forget to bring it over this way. <laughs> I, sometimes it happens, you know. It happens. It happens. But eventually it'll make its way here to the main platform. Yes, because we remember what we didn't talk about. <laughs> and if someone else brings it up, like we figure it out in the end. Yes, exactly. But if you want to support this show, because we do need the support, uh, head over to patreon.com slash the Mariah Report. You can sign up for five bucks, cancel anytime. No strings attached, nothing weird happens, and you get to access a whole ton of bonus content. You can now go watch me and Dan do the Hot Ones Challenge on YouTube. Oh, yes. Watch, but it's in the Patreon only. Um, and we also have uh, our, our show called Unplugged, and you get the whole this episode and a pre-show and after show, and it's just unedited fun times. Yes, you hear all of the antics, all of the antics. So, like, you know, the whole the whole show. Yes. The whole kit and caboodle. And we love to read our uh, comments from the Patreon episodes. And so we always have like this ongoing conversation yes. going. So when dialogue. we do miss or forget something or we like will give misinformation. Oh, the lambs <laughs> over there on Patreon, they will let us know. We'll be corrected. And we love yes. it. We love it. Yes, yes. It's the backup Listen, team. Can't, can't remember everything. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So the link is in the description. Go check it out. Yeah, have a moment. So, but um, so the big one that happened um, this previous few weeks was Pitchfork, which is a big um, sort of music publication. Yeah, and they did a the top two hundred and fifty songs of the nineteen nineties, mm-hmm. and I I mean, of course, Mariah's came in at number one. She but must. It's like, you must i mean hello she like devoured the 90s she -hmm. was the 90s she is the 90s but it's like okay well what mariah song could it have possibly been and of course it was fantasy rightfully so yes several reasons it's a great song groundbreaking in the moment Mm -hmm. but still alive today lotto just used it with mariah carey (laughs) Right, exactly. <laughs> the longevity of it. Right. That's that's what it really is. And it really was sort of like that groundbreaking moment. You know, she may not be, have been like the first pop star to collaborate with a hip hop artist, but it was the first one to really go mainstream and not only go mainstream, but like stay relevant mm-hmm. throughout the decades. Exactly. You know what I mean? So yes. that I think... That is a list that got there. I like when I sc- scrolled through that whole 250 list, I was like, all right, these these are actually pretty accurate mm-hmm. in terms of 90s songs. Because, girl, I was listening to everything in the 90s. I know all the 90s. Um, and then all, Mariah also made a little appearance at, I believe, number 49 mm-hmm. for Always Be My Baby, because that is another classic. Yes, yes. And the go ahead and check out the article because the journalist who composed the li- or did the Mariah blurbs, great stories about the songs, great like analysis of the songs. Mm-hmm. It's worth the yeah. time to go check it out and read absolutely, that. absolutely. And very quickly before we move on to another Billboard list that we have that was recently published, mm-hmm. um, you know my girl Brandy over there. We got to give her a shout out. Mm-hmm. She made the list with Monica for The Boy Is Mine around like number 30 or something of the best songs because that was a really hot song back in the day. Um, but that- she apparently got very ill and fell out or something and she had to be rushed to the hospital according to TMZ. Yeah, what's the whole story? Because I saw it on um, The Kempire. I don't really and know. She had had a seizure story. or something. But I think I saw on Twitter she had released a statement saying dehydration, not eating enough. Yeah, maybe she's pushing the ice cream cart like Mariah, you know, no sleep, no food. Yes. Because that'll do it to you. That's what, yeah, that's what happened. 
like so so a lot of places were saying she had a seizure but she made it sound like she was just essentially exhausted yes um but apparently she's doing fine and we send her well wishes mm-hmm. and um uh, another quick little thing that we did not talk about or we just barely very briefly mentioned it mm-hmm. was um the video for uh the new version of the roof with the brandy i know we now, never really got into that we never really got into it because there's new there's new video yes so it yes. is like part taken from some of it's taken from masterclass some snippets uh, but then there's whole new like shots in the butterfly lounge with the same lighting, so they got it to match. Yes, yes, <laughs> she did a good job. Yes, and it's cute, it's perfect. I love those new little shots of Mariah, um, with in the hoodie and stuff like that. But then it also was giving me nostalgia moments of like when Mariah would film her own music videos. <laughs> of like, like um, in particular, last night last at night DJ, DJ saved my life. life. <laughs> <laughs> Which back in the day, in like 2002, when she uploaded that to like, this was before YouTube. This yeah. is before she, I don't know what she recorded it on, but it is the most pixelated thing I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> I think on her flip phone, she recorded it. I mean, she must have, but but there were multiple different setups. Yes, it was good. There were multiple different ensembles. Mm-hmm. She was like in the car. She had the vinyl records and everything. It's Again, a classic just, Mariah Carey video throwing around vinyls yes. <laughs> paying no attention um and i love that video i want to see i want to see if we could get that up, upgraded a little bit but it reminded <laughs> me of that like i love when mariah's just at home making a music video i yeah, think it's the greatest those, thing those are the fun ones <laughs> those are the fun ones and she was giving us a little like charm bracelet-esque kind of vibe with the hoodie yes very much the casual very at much. home look <laughs> Again, it was it was all the nostalgia, mm-hmm. all of it. She's just like literally like sitting on the floor in the corner yeah. <laughs> of her house filming a music video. Now you know Brian was behind the camera. Oh, for sure. Yes. Oh, for sure. But he did a good job. It it blended very well and I loved it. Yeah, yeah. So it's super <laughs> cute. And um uh people are watching it, people are loving it. It's getting Boy, good. It's good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Uh, honey, it's fabulous. Fabulous. Uh, anyway, shout out to Brandy. Yes, shout out. Get well soon. Um, well, along the lines, because you know the that was released, that was released for the Butterfly Twenty Five celebrations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Billboard, I found this to be very interesting. Released a article called "Mariah Carey's Butterfly at Twenty Five: All the Tracks Ranked." Okay, now I I read this and I because they start from like you know twelve. 12 tracks starting at 12 starting at 12 immediately no immediately no i can't read this whoever wrote this does not know what they're talking about very upset what's upsetting you uh number 12 oh the actual list (laughs) the actual list okay (laughs) like how dare you how dare you like i think what's okay hang on well what's upsetting wait go ahead well, you, well, should we say what number 12 is? <laughs> well, first I want to say what's annoying me is that they didn't pick a butterfly era photo. It's an emotions era photo as the lead photo. Okay. Well, that's that's how we know that whoever made this list knows nothing. Just want to don't, preface this article with that. Yes. Don't tell me that you can't get a newer publicity photo. Like, don't even try it. A butterfly era photo. Exactly. Like, come on. Not even, like, new. Bro, I got a hundred of them on my phone. You want one? Like, come on. Get out of here. She just released all those brand new, never-before-seen promotional photos. So don't tell me you can't. That's what they're there for, for promo. Exactly. So, Buddy, so just John. by looking at John, good old John over there. Um, let's see what he's got to say in terms of ranking these songs. All right, this, this, so there's a whole article, but you know the deal. Uh, anyway, let's get straight to the list. Number 12, Whenever You Call. Okay. Are Absolutely you okay? not. I'm not okay with that. Well, who should be number 12? Well, number 12 should probably be the remake now, listen, I love all of the songs. I love all of the songs, right? But number 12 should be um, The Beautiful Ones because she didn't write it. 
It's a cover song. Or number 12 should be um, the Butterfly Reprise because that's not an actual song. That's just a bop in the middle. Oh, gosh. I didn't know. You know what I mean? I think I'm vibing with John. Okay. Well, you and John can go have coffee and kick rocks. (laughs) (laughs) Because I, I like the beautiful ones more than whenever you call, and I like the reprise more than whenever you call. But the reprise isn't even a song. But it's a jam. It, that is true, but it's not a song. But it's more of a jam than whenever you call. But it's not a song. We're just doing jam vibes, not song vibes. Okay, well, jam vibes, but let me tell you, there have been many a time when whenever you call has given me a tear to my eye. I love that song. I'll, and that, but I'm a ballad. I'm a ballad girl, so you know what I mean. That song is amazing. I think her vocals on that song are amazing, which is why I don't like the version with Brian McKnight. Because, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just oh, saying. Oh no, I'm I arguing think it's with in the right him. Place. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think it's. I see. I'm agreeing with John. Here's okay. the here's the game. Do we agree with John or disagree with John? That's the all right. Game. Okay, agree, 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 I or agree. disagree with John. Okay, okay. you agree. Ready? I completely disagree. Okay. okay. Um, 11, number 11, outside. Absolutely not. How dare you? No. Rude. Disagree. Okay. What should be your number? Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing. I mean, you already know the things that I think should be 11 and 12 are the cover song. Beautiful ones. And the song that is not a song. I'm agreeing with you. Maybe beautiful ones could be 11. Okay. Yeah. Like, okay. We can put that there. So I disagree with. John, you too? Okay. We both yeah. disagree oh, with John. Oh, full disagree. Okay, moving on. Number 10, close my eyes. <laughs> the rudity <laughs> of it all. How dare he? I agree. Yes, I agree with you. <laughs> I don't agree with John. I yeah, think that's that not, one. It needs to be way higher up. Way higher up. Way higher up. For me personally, that's my all time favorite Mariah song. So I would probably have to put it up into the top one or two. Okay, that's pretty high. Day. You know yeah, what I let's mean? Let's get to the bottom of the list. Yeah. But I agree with you. Should be higher. Should be higher. Disagree with John. Number nine, Baby Doll. Should, I think it should be higher. But then are we running out of options? Okay, yeah. Could be higher. I mean, we are I sort agree. of running out of options. So, like, if it has to be at number nine, like, we can live with it. Yeah. But I think it should be, like, maybe seven or something. I would rearrange this a little. Same. Baby Doll is on the upgrade list. Standby yeah. upgrade list. It could go, like, up one spot or two. If a seat becomes available, she can take it. You know what <laughs> I mean? She's on the standby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's on the standby. Um. So... Do we, so we sort of agree with John? We sort of agree. We'll let that one stand for now. Okay. For now, just because. Number eight, 4th of July. Absolutely not. Higher. Oh, really? I, well, I, okay. I can see why he put it there so low, but when you really look at it in terms of song structure and lyrically, I think that song is so geniusly done that that's too low for that song to be. That has to be like number five or above. Hmm. Because it's it's just, it's one of those visualization songs. And like a lot of people can't make those types of songs. So he's too much of a general public person to realize the geniusness of 4th of July. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he clearly did not listen to the Butterfly 25 Anniversary Edition where it has all just the vocals. He did not listen to that. Right. I think so, too. I'm agreeing with you. Okay. <laughs> uh, so disagree with John. Disagree, yeah. Okay. Number seven is the beautiful ones. So disagreeing with John because she has to go back to the back. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's a, I love still the good. Mountains. Love, still love, good, love, love, love. She, she has to go back there. She can't be sitting up here. Yeah. No, that's way too high. Yeah, number seven. Way too high. I think Mariah would even agree that that's way too high. Mm-hmm. I think so. 
Okay, number six, butterfly. I think that's too low. That's way too low. Way too low. Should like, be all the way up there. Like, how does butterfly be so low when the reprise or the reprise, I forget how it is, is up oh, as higher? Like, that's just, not, it doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. The, I the agree. math doesn't math. The, the, yeah, you're right. So, disagreeing with Joan. Disagree. Number five. Okay, this is interesting. Breakdown. Number five. The nerve. The I don't nerve. know. I don't know. No. I mean, it's getting tight. It gets real tight in the top five. This is where it's going to get rough. This is where it gets real rough. I don't know. I think she could stay there. Okay. At five. I think she could go up one. She's she's, oh, one. she's uh, a possible. Okay. I mean, she's possible. But when we look at, like, what comes next, because look at what comes next. Fly away, butterfly, reprise. How is yeah, that, that should be higher for, than breakdown? That should be two or three back. Yeah, no, exactly. I, you're right. Yeah, breakdown needs to be coming up one. Yeah, breakdown definitely can go up, up one, one spot to number four. You're right. Disagree with John. Disagree. Okay, so number four, fly away, reprise. Love to death, but she has to go back. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Still love it. Always love it. It needed to be way on that album, but mm -hmm. that could be way in the back. She's sitting in the back of the plane. She's boarding first. You mean last? <laughs> no. <laughs> For, oh, no, you board first because you sit way in the back, right? I don't know. I don't fly enough. No, first like, class gets to board first. Oh, well, <laughs> okay. Well, then <laughs> not the on five. the cheap airlines I fly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, okay. Not all the way back. I would say like three from the back. Last row. Complete last row. Okay. <laughs> yeah, last row. <laughs> Number three, honey. This, I see, think this she could go. Gets you hard. I think she can go back one where Flyaway was. Number four. Just mm. back one. I think she might go up one. I think because yeah, because okay, because what are okay, what are the other two? Uh, so honey's number three. Might wait. Are we agreeing with John on? I'm disagreeing because I think it could we're be both, number two. See, we're both disagreeing because I want to send her back. I want to send her up one. Okay, so John, disagree. Just disagree. Number two, my all. See, I want honey in that spot. I love my all, but I don't mind my, my all, all being is here. not honey. My I think I'm agreeing with John. All right, that's fine. Number one, I think is correct. The roof back in time. I can't argue with that. Can't There's argue. no arguing in that on that one. Yeah, yeah, that is definitely agreed. Definitely. Okay, roof back in time. Wait, so who it's, should be number two? I think honey should be number two. Okay, you're number two. I think it should be roof, honey, breakdown. Yeah. Oh, wait. Well, close my eyes is in there as well. Let me not forget my favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> you already kicked her out. I already kicked her out. <laughs> Sorry, girl. <laughs> I'm old. I forgot. <laughs> Okay, it's the roof, close my eyes, honey, break down my all. And then the rest are just the rest. Okay, I think I would do the roof. Oh, gosh. The roof, butterfly, break down my all. Honey. Okay. Reprise. Girl. Okay. <laughs> I know, but also I won't close my eyes in the top as well. Close it's my really eyes. It's really hard. Oh, this I is mean, hard. It's, it, it is a very, very hard list to, to do, but I'm just saying, like, some of those are way too low. Like, breakdown is way too low. Like, that's just not even. And, and outside? Yes. No. That's, no. You're not going to tell me the, the butterfly reprise is better than outside. Or close my eyes. Like, yes, get out of here. Yes, yes, I agree with you. But anyways, just I think I think all the listeners should should send in their rankings and see where where everything lies. Because it's really hard. 
It oh, is really yeah. hard. Do you know what? Um, curate the album the way you want it, like your top 10 or whatever, yeah, in your 12. order. 12. Yeah. Because he clearly, we disagreed on almost all of his rankings. Yes. So he's clearly in the wrong. <laughs> So that that's we know that. So let's judge. We want to judge you. <laughs> we want we want the people who know the album to give us their response on what they think exactly how they would rank it because yeah. it, it does get very very hard, especially in the top five section. Very I, hard. So on Spotify, I actually made a playlist and I made my own Butterfly album the way I want it. Yeah. Have you done that? No, I don't know how to do that with my machines. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like, I just took all the songs and, like, it's basically the Butterfly album in a playlist. And you just rearranged them? I kept it in order. Like, I kept the sequencing the same. But I changed uh, my all to Mi Toro. And then mm. I changed the roof to the Mob Deep mix. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And breakdown to the Bone Thugs extended. Okay, well, that's all very valid. Those Those should, yeah, definitely. Oh, and Honey to um, the Mace version. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And oh, the yes. See, I love the So So Deaf version of Honey. I really do. The one with Brad? Yeah. And Jermaine? I love it. I do. That's good, I too. Suits so good. I love all the vocals on that one. Her vocals it's good too. everything. But anyways, <laughs> I think we've covered everything this week, but definitely uh, get online, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Post your rankings of the Butterfly albums just so we can see where everybody lies. We're you still know? celebrating. Yes. Oh, we're celebrating all year. It's not over. It's not over. I mean, Mariah's has not moved on to Christmas yet. Yes, it's not time exactly. Yet. Exactly. <laughs> You know, this time in real time, the stuff's coming out in 25 years ago. This The era has just begun. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So um, go ahead and do that on all the platforms, you know, where to find us at the Mariah Report. Yes. We're on Instagram, TikTok. Oh, yeah. Good old TikTok. What else? Twitter is a fun place. Yeah. Oh, all the sure. things yes all the things let us know what you guys think um but um that will wrap it up and we will be back next week with more reporting yes indeed see you then bye the mariah report is produced and edited by dan enriquez and martin Berger. hosted by dan enriquez and martin Berger. graphics created by sean mark Theme music created by E-Reezy Beat. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.